Hi, my name is Malcolm and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab. Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. In this video, I'll be going through a past year examination question on the topic of body systems. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So, let's get started. Question 6. The diagram below shows the flow of blood in a human body and they ask which of the graphs below correctly represents the amount of oxygen in the blood at locations A, B, C and D. So before we take a look at the graphs, let's try and understand what happens to the amount of oxygen at the different locations. So let's take a look at the lungs first. Now, what is the function of the lungs? We know that the lungs are going to carry out the exchange of gases. So let's try that out. The lungs carry out the exchange of gases. And remember, what gas is being exchanged at the lungs? We know that oxygen, does it get absorbed or removed from the bloodstream? We know oxygen is being absorbed. And we can see oxygen is going to be absorbed into the blood at which location? It's going to be absorbed at location B. And since oxygen gets absorbed into the bloodstream at location B, this means B, how much oxygen would it have? Would it have the most or the least amount of oxygen? We know that B has the most amount of oxygen. In fact, let's try and arrange them from the most to the least amount of oxygen. So I'm going to write this out at the side. Most oxygen to the least amount of oxygen. We already know the one with the most oxygen is B. Now afterwards, look at where the blood is going to. The blood is going to pass through the heart. Now, what is the function of the heart? We know that the heart is a muscle. It needs to pump the blood to all parts of the body. So in order to do that, the heart needs to take in what gas? The heart needs to use up oxygen. So let's write this out. We know the heart needs to use up oxygen for what process? It is for respiration to release what? It is to release energy so that the heart can pump blood. Now, since the heart uses some oxygen, this means the blood flowing away from the heart at C, is it going to have more or less oxygen than B? It is going to have less oxygen. So we can write down after B, it should be C. And then afterwards, the blood at C, where does it go to? We can see the blood at C goes to the body. And the body, same thing as the heart. Does it need oxygen? Definitely. So the body is also going to use up oxygen for respiration to release energy for life processes. So because of that, the blood that's flowing out from the body at D, is it going to have more or less oxygen than C? It is going to have less oxygen. So let's write this down. And then afterwards at D, where's the blood going to? We can see the blood flows to the heart. And remember, the heart is a muscle. Does it also use up oxygen? Yes. So if it uses up oxygen, that means the blood flowing from the heart to the lungs at A, would it have more or less oxygen? It would have less oxygen than D. In fact, out of the four locations, A would have the least amount of oxygen. So with this understanding, we can take a look at the graphs and choose which graph correctly represents the amount of oxygen. So let's take a look at option one. We know B is supposed to have the most amount of oxygen. Now let's check. Does option one shows us the most amount of oxygen? No. So we can cross out option one. We know it should be the most. So option one is out. What about option two? Does this show us the most amount of oxygen at B? Yes. What about option three? Option three, yes. But if you look at option three, we can see it's not just B that has the most amount of oxygen. In fact, which other location has the most amount of oxygen? We can see it is C. And is that possible? No. We know C should have more or less oxygen than B. C should have less oxygen. 
So let's write this down. It should have less oxygen than B. So we can also cross 3 out. Next, what about option 4? Does option 4 show you that B have the most amount of oxygen? No, it should be the most, which means we can cross out option 4. Now, we are only left with which option? We are left with option 2. So let's check. We know B has the most amount of oxygen, followed by C, and then D, and then A. So is this what we should expect? Yes. So because of that, the correct answer has to be option 2. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!